Hey everyone, so as I come through the process of working Canvas, da 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 da, I try to think of stuff that I've learned over the years of being really annoyed by Canvas because it can be quite frustrating and I get that. And one of the big things for me has been the development of my syllabus, which is what I use as my homepage. I thought you might want to just listen to why I set it up the way that I do and then maybe not, I don't know. If you don't, just turn this off. Why are you watching this? But the first thing for me is it's always important in the first module to once I have all my stuff set up so it could be the second module I suppose um, is to make a screen capture video where I just explain what buttons you click to do the things that you want so for each student I'm gonna go in and show them where modules are located if I'm using modules but it doesn't have to be particularly long but it does give you some direction because the number one thing about teaching online that you have to learn is that it's easier to uh, address a problem by creating a resource for it that way the next time there's the same problem you can just direct them to that resource and then you're trying to drive conversation to okay where can I find that information out for myself as opposed to having to answer 600,000 questions about the same exact thing so if I look at my syllabus here I have to do virtual office hours whatever whatever um, they used to be a lot more they used to be every day so I would just tell them when I would be available so if I'm gonna have my schedule for the class I may post it here you can actually make a Google Calendar and load it live so if something changed you could make those adjustments and they could just see them in the course so that's um, kind of a nice feature then I talk about you know my general appeal about accommodations or whatever because sometimes especially in the early part of the year it takes them you a while to understand what accommodations are needed so if you tell you know let your parents know uh, but you can't say these people need to do this you sort of have to make it open I have specific attendance policies uh, this is not the school system attendance policy so if it's the school system version do whatever you need to do we base our attendance off of work completed as opposed to like just logging in because logging in doesn't necessarily mean anything I mean you could turn it on and put a picture of yourself in the window that slowly changes and it looks like you're there and you're actually not so being logged in doesn't necessarily confirm that you're doing anything so completing the work is kinda of what matters and I actually have a minimum score but that may not be appropriate but the reason I did that in the first place is because people would log in and not do anything so I needed a plan so I had a problem I created a solution and then I posted uh, the results of that solution for anybody who needs to see it uh, can go there and get it anyway assignments like if I I've noticed that they tend to go to the to-do list but I would have assignments and modules that didn't pop up on the to-do list because they're not graded through canvas so I told them immediately don't trust the to-do list go to modules first whatever your system is put something in place to tell them where they need to go to first if they need to go to teams first put a giant banner at the top of your page that says go to teams first always you know whatever uh, if they need extra help this is kind of a reminder that I don't expect them to know everything a lot of my students make PDFs just because it's easier to grade in SpeedGrader if you have certain file types you actually have to download them and it's the worst so if they are visual I always make them convert it into a PDF so I can grade it in SpeedGrader that's not a very difficult process to do unless you don't know how to do it so I made an entire section that shows you what you can do and how you can do it and it, I also have videos of those things like well how do I know how that works and then once I graded it they'd always like to know well, how can I see that you graded it well they didn't know that either so I made a video to show them how to do that it made it easier on me because then I just say oh check the syllabus scroll down to assignments or how to make a PDF it's in green over the years I remember the, the colors I put in and that way I can just push them that direction and I'm like if you need anything else let me know and usually they'll figure it out for themselves and the next time they have that question they'll just go there um, attendance I just put this in here and then late assignments my rules and anything else that I think is necessary um, Miss Simone's might be interested that there is a Rick roll in here but I mean this is from I, I mean like this is in 2014 or 15 and even then it had been around a while but um, that's the important thing about having a nice syllabus if you get a question more than a couple times it's worth the effort to either make video or make a written explanation of what your procedures are and then start pushing them to those procedures if you have 
um, questions that are the same, like if you have some asynchronous parts of your class, which if you're allowed to do, I would suggest. But if you have the same question over and over again, make a discussion each week that you post the answers to the questions that you've given. That way when they say, hey, how do we do this? Like, oh, I totally answered that in the discussion for this week. And just go check it out. And if you need anything else, just let me know. You always put that in there. But it makes it easier on you if you have one place that they can go to find that answer so you don't have to tell the same answer over and over again. Eventually you'll start training the students to go look there first before they email you. It keeps your inbox a little bit cleaner. It doesn't deny them access to you. It simply gives them information faster that they don't have to wait around for you to be able to answer. So my suggestion and do whatever you want with it a, make a syllabus slash homepage that starts to answer the questions that you want. B, if you have students who, if you have common areas of questions, maybe it's for the week, maybe it's for specific types of assignments, make a discussion and post a link somewhere so they can go in and find it. Or maybe even make a module that's for where you get help. So you just put the help for each week or whatever in that module. It doesn't take that long to do, and it saves you a ton of time on the back end. The last suggestion, of course, is if you have time, if you once you get your class sort of set up in the way you want it, like they're going to have to go here to find this information, make a video with Screencast-O-Matic or Screencastify. Screencast-O-Matic gives you 15 minutes for free, um, so I might suggest that, where you just go in and click the buttons and just show them where things are located. It will make your life easier. It will make their life easier. It takes a lot of the stress off of both parties, and it makes living the life of doing things remotely a little bit more bearable, and it also frees up your time to focus on stuff like how do you make online learning better. So there you go.